few years ago when we had another wave of zombies coming at us in all different media. I kept asking my friends, what, what, what does this mean? Who are these zombies? What's going on? Nobody had a sufficiently good answer for me. And as you know, if you want to learn something, you teach it. And I said, I've got to learn this. So here we are. The name of the course is Zombies and Vampires, Fact and Fiction. So there are these biological cognates to a lot of these uh, things we see in vampire and zombie films. Totally books. gross. Absolutely engrossing. So there is actually a fungus that infects um, ant brains. And what it makes the ant do is actually uh, leave the nest, crawl up to the tallest branch it can, and then grasp the branch with its uh, mandibles and stick there. The reason why it does that is because at that point in time, the fungus actually erupts from the ant's head, Disgusting. Um, and that's how it spreads. My favorite example is uh, in Dracula. Um, it turns out that one of the central issues in Dracula is transfusions. And so that fits right into uh, the biology, or the biology fits right into the novel in an interesting way. So it isn't just Count Dracula doing scary things. It's also about the science at the time. So we do a lot of history. For example, zombies and vampires of the 50s and 60s are very different from zombies and vampires of you know current day. And that has a lot to do with the fears that people have and the fears of change from the 50s. Yeah. So where you might have originally um, Cold War fears or um, conflicts in uh, Vietnam or in civil rights. Now you've got fears of epidemics. You've also got fears about terrorism and, and different kinds of invasions. I think all types of students should take this course. Literature, women's studies, history, political science, biology, chemistry, I mean all over the map and everybody finds something interesting in it. Thank <laughs> you.